Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today's DIY is going to be how I made this barn door from scratch. So all you're going to need for this is just some pieces of wood. Here are the measurements and some wood glue and clamps to hold them together. And a piece of sandpaper. And the only reason I wanted to sand the edges of this is because I wanted it to have um, a little bit of a beveled edge when I glued them together. I didn't want them to look like a solid piece of wood. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But I also kind of rounded out the edges on the corners. So here I'm just showing you the difference between the sanded edges that give it the beveled look compared to not sanding them and it kind of looking like just one solid sheet of wood. And I thought I would show you how to make um, this barn door from scratch because um, a couple of videos ago that I did, I showed a um, technique on how to paint a barn door kind of farmhouse style. And the barn door I got was from Michael's and by the time the video went up, they were sold out, so I wanted people to have the chance to have a barn door. So that's why I wanted to make my own. And here are the measurements for the smaller pieces that go on the top of the larger pieces, and that creates the zigzag. So for the zigzag on the top, you're just going to take the smaller piece of wood, which is two inches wide, um, line it up with the top and bottom edge of the door, draw a line, that way you know where to place the smaller pieces of wood on top of the larger piece, um, because you're just going to be gluing them on and clamping them, so you wanna know where to place them once you get the glue on. And I'm just taking a little bit of wood glue and smearing it with my finger because I don't want a lot to squirt out. And I'm just going to glue them together and then clamp them. And I didn't have a big enough clamp to go all the way across all four boards. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm just gluing these together, making sure they're all lined up. Then putting the zigzag on top with more wood glue and then I'm going to clamp those down which will in turn clamp the bigger pieces together. And here's what mine looks like. Just a whole bunch of clamps. And I thought it would be funny to show you the behind the scenes picture of all the clamps we were trying to use because not all of them fit. They didn't have a big enough mouth on them. So this is the angled piece, it's kind of weird. Um, my husband cut this for me. To figure this out, you could, um, you could take the piece before it's cut and lay it across the two that you already glued down and draw a line so that you get the correct angle and then cut that. And I put, you, I put the measurements that um, we used in the beginning. And this is what I was saying, I didn't want the glue to squish out, which it obviously did and I didn't notice, but that's really hard to um, stain. You can go ahead and try and sand it off once it's dried, that's, it, just, it gets really, really hard. Um, but you can't stain over the glue, it won't look right. So try and wipe off any excess glue once you glue it down. You can just do that with a wet rag. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with this little zigzag piece. I'm just going to glue it and clamp it down. And this is the handle. I already had a handle on hand. It's really old. That's why it's kind of crooked. But I didn't care. It's a barn door. It's supposed to look rustic. So I went ahead and attached the handle. And I'll put this screwdriver in the description box if you guys want one. They are so helpful with these kind of projects. 
And all I had was silver screws, so I'm just going to take a Sharpie and color them in so they kind of blend in with the handle. And here it is all finished. I'm not going to show um, how I stained it or painted it or anything because I will link the um, video that I showed that previously. I will link that up above. But I think it turned out beautifully. It's not perfect, but... Um, here it is next to the barn door that I bought from Michaels and that's the one that I did the distressing and painting on. Like I said, I will link that video above. So I hope this is helpful to you guys and I hope you end up making a barn door of your own. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. I'll see you next time. Bye!